I would like to introduce one of the funniest men of our time, a man that I greatly admire, and uh, a face and a figure. Of course, the figure is not as robust as it used to be. Oh, but, no, no. Uh... I, uh, I've been on a special diet. Fingernails. Right. <laughs> That's me, the last of the human hangnails, that's me. Now, my guest is Jackie Vernon, and uh, I, I think Jackie and I, uh, through the years, have done more nose-to-nose, eyeball-to-eyeball. Yeah, we, sure we sure have. Between you and Sig Sackowitz. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't think of anybody I've done more shows with. Right. We're, uh, uh, we're shown in California, aren't we, Joe? Of course. I want to say hello to my dear friend, Zeke Manners. Zeke, I know you're watching, and I know Joe Franklin loves you. And I'm going to be seeing you in a few days. And uh, Zeke Manners usually watches with Buddy Epson. Buddy Epson, my other old friend. Hi, Buddy. They, wa oh, they always yeah, watch They write to me. We talk on the phone once a week. I know, I know. Buddy was in uh, Washington. I'm sorry he didn't fly in to do your show. He did Larry King's show in Washington. He's plugging... Uh, they wrote a, a musical called Cabaret Dada. Right. Which I saw the previews of. Yes. Zeke wrote the music with Buddy. And they're plugging, uh, they're plugging one song. We're all on the same spaceship, and we've got to learn to get along. It, that's the one song in the show that Zeke and Buddy wrote. That makes good sense. It does make good <laughs> sense. <laughs> yeah, I've got to tell Jackie Vernon that he has not been around uh, in this vicinity, the New Jersey, New York area, uh, enough to suit me. You've got to tell us where have you been and what keeps you well, busy. Well, I, I live in, uh, in California now, yeah. and uh, I've been doing... I, I, I did four movies out there, which uh, one was called Mafia on the Bounty, the other is called uh, Wings Over Nebraska. I don't know if that'll ever be really... And this is, this is my new career, almost. That's, I'm old to be a comedian. But this was a, a departure for me. It's a horror movie. Microwave Massacre right. stars Jackie Vernon. Right. Beautiful. And uh, it's selling the kids are buying it. College kids are buying it. It's becoming a cult thing. And they're writing Microwave, too, because this is doing so well. When I think doing of, well in, in the cassette a, tapes. When I think of Jackie Vernon, I think of a very famous record album. I think it was called A Wet Bird Never Flies yeah, at Midnight. Yeah, that's my first album. <laughs> that was a Do you have it here? I, I have it in, in the archives. In the, in the archives. That's where all that'll go, right? Yeah, but that, and that's this is a, one of your uh, record albums? Is, is it fairly current? The, yeah, uh, that was... Uh, I, I, we did that three years ago, and they re-released it uh, this year. Sex is not hazardous to your health. It's a takeoff on everything you want to know about sex. Uh, Tom Bosley, Marion Mercer, and... Very good people on the album with me. So a lot of little vignettes. When you and I broke into TV, you couldn't say a word like sex. We, I, I would say, has TV now, Jackie, gotten as sex explicit? Is, uh, has TV gotten as explicit, as, as, as permissive, as risque, totally as much as, let's say, live nightclub performances? And, and you're a fellow... I would say so, sure. I would say so, too. It's unbelievable. Even, even the soap operas, they have bedroom scenes and... So and how about Eddie Murphy's uh, dialogue? Every, every word that mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy says is, is just uh, staggering. And, and It uh, is staggering, but... Uh, it goes. It goes. You know, it's the younger crowd. They like that. They like, uh, they like tasteless material. Let's put it that way. Well, who way. knows? Who but knows? The, the, Eddie, Eddie Murphy said in Time magazine about a month ago that his one ambition 50 years from now is to be seen on this program as a, as a memory lane feature. That was mm -hmm. nice to read that, you know. But, but when, when, when did that begin to change? I mean... Uh, oh, I think that began... To, it began to change when Lenny Bruce was around. Lenny Bruce... Uh, today, Lenny Bruce would have been just another comedian. Because, but he was the innovator using the four-letter words on stage and uh, uh, attacking the church and all the establishment. How could we, how could we begin to speculate what's happening now uh, on the state of TV comedy, let's say, ten years from now, Jackie? I mean, the, who knows what they'll, what they'll be. Ten years from now. Well, if things keep going the way they're going, there won't be any ten years from now. Boy. You know, my grandfather used to say, someday the day will come when the day won't come. That's right. <laughs> uh, how true, how true.